pinnacle of boxing so it is what it is I've always dumped it at the deep end and um, I'm ready to swim and take these chances you know the old saying no risk no reward so yeah we'll see what happens late 2018 it's amazing here what we're able to put on but are you interested in trying to conquer America no all these years the UK fighters had to go to America everyone had to spend a heap of money to go to Vegas we can do it in London around Wembley Cardiff it's local we're staying right here, we're staying right here, we're staying right here. Okay, so who do you want next if you had your pick? Wilder. Or Fury. Either one. Let's have a word with your promoter really hurt. But honestly, my little message this evening, aside from boxing is, it's all about unity. Look at all the people in this place from different backgrounds, different places, and we all come together for the love of sport. So make sure that this positive energy, don't just leave, don't stay in the arena. Make sure you take it out of the arena. Have a good time this evening. Unity, man. There's power in the people. God bless. Last one on Deontay Ward. If you did get him here, if you did meet him in a ring, what would, you, what would you have to do to beat him? What would I have to do to beat Wilder? Get him in the ring and I'll knock him spark out. Thank you very much. Promotes ready, Hearn. How realistic is what Anthony Joshua's just told us there? It's realistic from our side. He's had 21 fights. He's got four belts. Deontay Wilder was supposed to be here tonight, but he pulled out. Last fight, he boxed in front of about six, 7,000. Showed Deontay Wilder what 80,000 sounds like. Can you sit down and do serious negotiations with him and his team? Andy. They don't want it. They've never approached us. He's here. He fights all the champions. He wins all the belts. At 22 fights, he has a chance to be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. Don't forget how fast he's moving. Deontay Wilder's people don't contact us. They don't want to know. He talks the talk. He can't walk the walk. And if AJ says if he wants to come here, he'll get knocked spark out. And you want to do it here? We'll do it anywhere. But listen, have you seen where he boxes? He boxes in some great venues with no one there. Look at what we're doing over here. Look at what Anthony Joshua is doing. Deontay Wilder will be watching right now. And this is called a show. This is called a crowd. He will not beat AJ and these people. Thank you. Well, hopefully... Just tell us about um, Jarrell Miller as a, as a media personality. Let's put it that way. What's he like? <laughs> He's a huge personality. I mean, he's huge in stature. He's about 24 stone. It's hard to prepare against a guy like that, but quite bizarrely, he has an unbelievable work rate as well. So he's going to be a, a problem in the ring. Um, he's got an unbelievable work rate. <laughs> uh, an unbelievable work rate. Oh, my God. He's got an unbelievable pair of tits, Eddie. Jesus. As a person, I quite like him. He's got a big personality. Um, he grew up in Brooklyn. You know, and, and he's called for this fight, and he's he's been a little bit controversial in the build-up. But that's oh, he's called for the fight. He's controversial, and he's from Brooklyn. People do try and get the fight. I mean, he he landed a few lobos at the um, press conference we had recently uh, to announce our international stable stable where both guys. Look at them wobbling up and down there. AJ's family and stuff like that, which didn't go down well at all. But you know, there was a reason behind that. He wanted to go down to the end of this fight, and he put his wish. But you know. He's not got as good a good a air transplant as you, Eddie, has he? Hey, that's looking a lot better, that Eddie. You're looking good there. Teeth are looking well as well, Eddie. You're looking well. Dropping to bits for forty, but you're looking well. Let's forward to Mr. Bean. Bean. Let's see what Bean's got to say. Once again, with, with Adam Smith about Adam him. Smith, Mr. So Bean, this particular opponent. Beanie, let's just analyze creepiest the man in boxing. The numbers, uh, in terms of the actual just tell us where the children are, Adam. Actual technicals of this fight, what does he offer as a threat to Anthony Joshua, which he may not have dealt with before? Well, sure, first of all, uh, he's unbeaten, uh, never lost uh, in a professional ring, a um, little bit of amateur experience, but. Uh,
Oh my god, Miller's unbeaten. Well, I were unbeaten as a 15 year old at school because I used to pick me fights. Oh, he's got a bit of amateur experience. So mainly in the kickboxing world as well. Oh, he's been in the. He's a kickboxer. He's dangerous. Uh, hardened in the American gyms. Ooh. Hardened in the American gyms. So he was a lead sparring partner for Vladimir Klitschko. Oh, he was a lead sparring partner for Vladimir. Go on, Adam, get it sold. Get that script wrote. Uh, around the David Hay times. He spent a lot around the David Hay time. David Hay time. When was that? Now, let me think. The David Hay Klitschko time. That were donkeys years ago. Go on, Adam. You're struggling there. You keep looking to the floor. You gimp. A lot of time in camp with Vladimir and Emmanuel Stewart. Dave Allen spent a lot of time with Vladimir in camp in Austria. And Emmanuel Stewart, do me a favour. Alongside other sparring partners uh, like Michael Hunter, who's coming through now as a head. Michael Hunter's coming through. He knows him. He's been in a camp with him. Oh, my God. Way. So, uh, you know, jarrell has got a lot of previous, a lot of history. He's got a lot of previous, yeah. Yeah, he's got a lot of previous for eating burgers at Burger King. Um, he was lighter then. He's put on... He was lighter then. Weight. Uh, he's grown, he's mature. He's put on weight, he's grown, he's mature. Good. Um, and he's got quick hands. He's got quick hands! Oh, my God, Adam, you're going to have to do better than that. Oh my god, even Adam's embarrassed about that. Rocky, what do you reckon to that? What, Rocky, what do you reckon to Adam Smith there? What, Rocky, what do you reckon? Hey? What do you reckon to Adam? Hey, right, what do you reckon? Hey? What do you reckon? Hey? Hey? Is Adam pissing up our leg? What do you reckon? Shall I set you on Adam Smith, Rocky, and put, put him out of his misery? Oh my god. Um, for a guy who's, who's built, it's a strange build, he's over 300 pounds. It's a strange build! Look, you know, he's it's a strange build! He looks like Butterbean! Top half and he looks quite fleshy but... He looks fleshy! <laughs> oh my god, he looks fleshy! Jesus, he's like a blamange! Real hand speed, he's got stamina, he's got what looks like a decent chin, he's got good power, we saw him there against Tomasz Adamek, uh, I think that was in Chicago, we were over, and he, uh, you know, he blew him away, Adamek, of course, uh, an old man in the in the division now, but... Adamek's a career light heavyweight in his 43rd year, Adam. Do me a favour! Oh, hang on a minute, you forgot to say that Miller's got a Nigel Ben haircut. Uh, he's done everything that's been asked of him so far, but this is a jump up. Well, look, he hasn't done everything he's asked of him so far, he's got a draw on his record. He's shorter than Joshua. And Eddie's just said he's 24 stone, but Sky have got him on here at 22 stone 5. He's never been 22 stone 5. He's shorter than Joshua. His arm length is shorter. He's older. And he's called Big Baby. Oh my god. Do me a favour. Ask for Jarrell Miller. But as Eddie was saying, it's a jump for Anthony Joshua out of the home comforts into America. Oh no, they're not pushing the home comforts out of his comfort zone. Oh my God. Unbelievable. What are they going to do next? Wheel Johnny Nelson out. Oh my God. I can't believe it. He's going to be um, training in the States for the first time. They'll start in Sheffield and I think they'll go over a few weeks before to get a, a, acclimatised. You know? Acclimatised. We're going to hear that word a lot in next few weeks, next 14 week. Acclimatised. Seasoned. It's a cliche. Styles make fights. Exciting times ahead. Oh my God. Lennox Lewis used to train over there in the Pocono Mountains. Lennox Lewis used to train over there now. Oh, wow. Oh, well, if Lennox Lewis trained in Pocahontas Mountains or wherever they are, Joshua's got to train there. He's got, he'll be pound for pound. He's Nassim Hammond too. And, you know, that's what you've got to do. You've got to get used to the time zone. You've got to get used time to Time zones. To sparring partners. Can be very sparring partners. Time zones. Tough. For Anthony, finding someone like Jarrell Miller... He's going to struggle to find somebody like Jarrell Miller. 
I'll just get Dave Dave uh, Allen in to spar. But pay him this time, because you don't usually pay him. Get Dave Allen, and he's six foot three and a half. You know, he, 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 he'll be 19 stone if he's not going to fight. Get Dave in. Give him a wage. As a sparring partner, mm. so um, that's, a, that's a challenge for Rob McCracken and the team. It's a challenge to get a sparring partner like Miller. God, if you can't find a sparring partner for Miller, you don't know boxing. All you've got to do is ring BB up. Butter Bean! Ring the bean! Uh, as far as Jarrell's concerned, full of confidence, full of hype. He, he threw... Full of confidence? He's getting seven million! Of course he's going to be full of confidence! All he's got to do is put seven million on himself to get dropped and knocked out. And that seven then becomes... 30 million. Through the line out, he fished AJ, he got the bait, and now he's got his opportunity in front of his home people. So that's what you do, you insult Joshua's mother and you get millions of pounds. And that's how they're going to sell it. Is that the Sky narrative, Mr Bean? Mr Bean, Black Bean, and he needs to spar Butter Bean! And they're all going to be eating beans on toast! Bedford Stuyvesant in Brooklyn, where Mike Tyson and Riddick Bowe. Oh, God, the saying is from the same area. And Mike Tyson and Riddick Bowe. Oh, that's that, then. I'm going to buy this. Let me give you my 20 quid now, Adam. Is there an early bird offer? Tweet, tweet. Gerald Miller is from the same area as Riddick Bowe and Mike Tyson. Oh, my God. From. Now, this is a hard area of New York. He's hard area of New York, yeah, but England's pretty rough, in it? Joshua's not from a, a rough area, but New York is a hard area. Well, we've got to buy this because he's fighting a kid from a hard area. Guy Jerome Miller, but he's a sweetheart as well. He's, he's <laughs> lovely to be around. He's a sweetheart as well, yeah. He looks like a sweetheart. And, and um, it'll be a fun build-up, it really will. It'll be a fun build-up. Will there be any water thrown? Will any tables be uh, flipped over? Will he bring flowers for Anthony Joshua's mother? They really breed them tough in that neighbourhood, don't they? Let's just have a look at this tech. They're breeding them tough in the neighbourhood where he's from. Look at Miller there. Tough man. Tough operator. I love the tape. Um, out of the, the stats are pulled out here, Adam, he's younger. He is taller, he's got a greater reach. He's younger, he's taller, he's got a greater reach. Let's see what Adam's got to say about that. And of course, the last fight weight, significantly lighter, almost five stone difference. Which of those is the most significant that will play a factor? Well, 17 is perfect for, for Anthony Joshua and the modern heavyweight, isn't We're it? We're not talking about Joshua, Adam. Stop changing it, you're like a politician, like your schoolmates, George Osborne. David Cameron, Boris Johnson, Oliver Hoare. We know you went to eat and we all those. We're talking about Big Baby Miller. Get a tape measure around them paps of his. See what bra size he is. You know, Lennox Lewis always sort of was at his best weighing around 17, 17 and a half stone. He crept up Joshua uh, around about the sort of tack am time. He was sort of scaling 18, 1, 18, 2. I just, I felt that was a little heavy for him. Uh, they slimmed him down. I think that's the perfect fight weight for him. Yeah, massive difference Miller will have going in there. But, uh, you know, he's, look at the, uh, the, the height and reach and, and stuff. And, and Miller doesn't have that. It's, it's all downstairs. It's a trunk and it's it's maybe what gives him the stamp. Adam Smith's talking about trunk. It's downstairs. It's a trunk. Whose trunk is it? Whose trunk are you on about, Adam? Johnny Nelson's or Joshua's or Miller's? What are you talking about trunks for, Adam? You weirdo. Stamina and the strength and the chin as well, Miller. But it's the hand speed which might give AJ one or two things. Hand speed? Hand speed? The guy can't break the skin off a rice pudding, Adam. Come on, you're going to have to do better than this, beanie. To think about, but the unbeaten records for both of them, but the much higher calibre of opposition with Anthony Joshua. Mm -hmm. You know, if you, you look at the likes of, of Vladimir Klitschko and Joseph Parker, even sort of good heavyweights like Dominic Brazil and Eric Molina, who was stopped. We know Brazil going again against Dillian White, and you know, Molina's no slouch. I mean, Eric Molina's no slouch. He's a school teacher, Adam, who a 37 year old school teacher. Do me a favour. 
Oh my god, I can't believe it. Listen, Joshua's best win, Adam. Let me correct you there. Klitschko in his 42nd year, 18 month on settee. Parker was crap. He'd not beat a champion. Utter crap. He got the belt out of the bin. Just like Joshua got them belts. Utter crap. Fraud. You're going to have to do better than this, Mr. Bean. They're, they're tough heavyweights. He got through them. Takam at 10 days' notice. Manifi Takam at 10 days' notice? Yeah, 10 days' notice for Takam. Joshua had been in camp. For Paul F. Adams, stop being a politician. The spin doctor, Adam Smith. Paul in comes a short squat uh, Parisian and, and, and gave him a, a... Short and squat? Oh, my God. Short and squat. That's describing Takam. Adam, the spin doctor, Smith. A tough, a tough test. Joseph Parker was unbeaten when Joshua fought him. So, Joshua's... Oh my god, what are they going on about now? Parker, Huey Fury softened Parker up. Answered all the questions. He's mm. only had 22 fights, but he has fought the higher class of opponent. That's mm. not saying that Miller can't rise to the occasion in his city, in front of his people, and he's certainly got ability. We keep hearing this, don't we? In his city, New York, it's his city. He'd have come to England to fight. He said the other day he'd have fought in Wembley. Why didn't you put it on at Wembley, Adam? Hey, the fans will vote with their feet. They'll not be flying over there to watch Big Doss of Femi. It's embarrassing. It's whether he can back up all those words now on June the 1st. He you don't need to back him up, he's going $7 million. All sort of strategic management of, of AJ's career up until now. Strategic manager, strategic management of AJ's career. Oh my God, you couldn't make this up. And as Eddie Hearn was telling us, it's come a bit early, but sometimes you just, you just have to... It's come a bit early, he's got four belts, he's an Olympic gold medalist. Look at Lomachenko, what's he had, about 10 or 12 fights? Oh my god, he's double Olympic champ. Get a grip, you spin doctors. But Dan, don't you? I think Charles Martin came a bit early for him. We were ringside. Charles Martin came early. He's, he's a slimmer version of Butterbean. When uh, Charles Martin won the IBF title, it was a strange one. Uh, again, yeah, it was strange. When, uh, there was an injury and, and, and he seemed to do his, his back in. And, and Charles Martin won the title and I got straight on the phone to, to, to Anthony Joshua and his team and said, look, you know what, I don't know if Charles Martin's that good and he's the IBF champion. And there was a bit of a sort of hoo-ha about whether AJ will be ready for it. They took the risk, they rolled the dice, they chucked him in. Martin got a huge purse for coming over to London. And as you saw, Joshua dealt with it and dealt mm. with it emphatically. Mm. Vladimir Klitschko, I guess, was the next next real ask. And he got through that, went down, got up, proved something else that night. Yeah. You know, different styles like Parker, different uh, tough guys like Povetkin. Yeah, he's packed a lot into his 22 professional <laughs> fights. And of course, he was he was a good amateur. Pavet Kim were in his 40th year, Adam. Do me a favour. Charlie Martin had not beat a champion, but he was a world champion. Parker had not beat a champion, but he was a world champion. Are you confused, Adam? Because I am. So got one that, that packed a lot in there as well. So it is an education. I think it's come a bit early, the American adventure. I think American adventure. It had come early. You've done a runner there. You had to get out of England. Most people thought he'd be at Wembley in April fighting a, a Dillian White or something like that. But you should have paid Dillian White what he were worth, Mr. Bean. Unpredictability is the name of the game in boxing. Yeah, unpredictability, yeah. Not as unpredictable as your tie, Adam Smith. Where did you get that tie from? Kipper ties are horrible. You've got to take your chances when they come. June the 1st is available, Madison Square Garden, it's Jarrell Big Baby Miller, it is on. And it's on like Donkey Kong, and just to try and piggyback on the same night as the Champions League, they put it on at the same night as the final, and they're going to pray that Liverpool gets it final. That's what we're going for, yeah. and he's, he's, you know, he's got it all in front of him now. Uh, unpredictability is what you need, not just in boxing, but in not sport, as mm -hmm. stop, but... Got it all, not as got it all in front of him. Not got as much in front of him as you had, and we all them millions you're creaming off this, Mister Percentage, Mister Five Percent, Adam Smith.
obviously the other word to, to pick out there is is professional and it's been professional all the way through with with aj let's just focus professional professional what with money aj pays people are getting less on the undercard than what carl frotch were paying him when he fought groves professional that aj's abusing everybody it's about the money He's abusing the fans and they're abusing people on the undercar, but nobody's going to say anything, are they? Because it's the only game in town. Though on a few of the comments made by Jarrell Miller, let me just read to you from, from the, the press release, which was just hot off the printer. Um, AJ's making a huge mistake in coming over here to fight me in my own backyard. He wants to announce himself on the American stage, but all he's doing is delivering me those belts. Look at state of this here. Uh, doggy dog in the ring and this dog. As Look at the state of these opponents he's fighting here. Look at them bouncing up and down there. Look at them. Get that man a bra. The thing I was born to do and win at the heavyweight championship of the world. Look at state of him, man. Jesus. Can you imagine Joshua next to him on scales? Oh my God. They're going to make him wear a t shirt. AJ uh, is standing in the way of my dreams. June the 1st, he's getting run the hell over, not one to mince his words. No, he doesn't mince his words. He doesn't mince his words. But there is, there is some charm in there. Mince only mince. Jarrell Miller knows is when he's eating a burger and it's mince meat in his burger. As well, yes, yeah. he did take it a little bit low before, and I'm sure he will try one or two uh, antics in the build-up again. But uh, yeah, only because you're going to tell him to take it low, Adam Smith. You be writing the script. Two matchroom fighters on a matchroom show. Good, it'd be like Chisora against White. With Chisora trying to hype it up because Eddie's told him to. Jesus. This is embarrassing. This fight is embarrassing. Chisora and Dillian White and Dave Allen would knock Miller Sparko. Great personality and uh, yeah, he believes in himself and why not? You know, he's an undefeated heavyweight. Oh God, he's mentioned it again. Undefeated heavyweight. He's fought nobody. It's his hometown. And it's his hometown yet again. He's mentioned that. Go on, say it again. Same town as Riddick Bow and Mike Tyson. Tough neighbourhood. Tough neighbourhood. Uh, he's got a, the chance of becoming the world heavyweight champion, and, and that is what Jarrell Miller's always wanted to do. You know, it could have come against a, a Deontay Wilder, but we know that the Wilder Fury uh, matchup is going to be announced. And that Wilder Fury is the biggest fighting boxer at the moment, not the big dosser against Black Bean. It's going to continue going, and while that's happening, we've got Joshua Miller here uh, for us on June the 1st. And then hopefully, you know, the winner of, of Joshua uh, Miller fights the winner of Wilder Fury. We no, Wilder Fury is going to be a trilogy. And you know it, Adam, so stop spinning yet again. The spin doctor, Adam Smith. Ozzy, Ozzy Smith's right about you. You are the spin doctor. Do get those, those ultimate unifications, but, you know, let's just relax, OK? <laughs> Anthony's got four world title belts, if you mm -hmm. include the IBO. Deontay Wilder's got the WBC. Tyson Fury, sort of the uncrowned uh, holder, because most people, including me, thought that he won it and won it well last time. The mm -hmm. dramatic coming off the, the 12th round knockdown as well. He's got to go and do it all over again. Uh, probably starts a slight favourite Fury to, to beat Wilder. Now... That could happen, AJ Fury. That could happen, AJ Wilder. But Miller wants to put a big spanner in the works. You've also got... Miller wants to put a big spanner in works. <laughs> Only thing Miller's going to put in works is a big, massive quarter pounder with cheese. Dillian White not going anywhere. Still continuing. And that good win over, over Derek... Just... Keep Dillian White on pay-per-view. Keep them coffers coming into the Sky Bank account. That's what you mean, don't you, Adam? They're not going to let Dillian White near Joshua because he probably beat him now. Now he's fit. Now he's got his shoulders and he probably beats Joshua. You throw Alexander Usyk into the mix, who's mm. that brilliant crew. Not going to go nowhere near Usyk or Ortiz. They are southpaws. If Joshua won't be going near him. Not, not, no way, no way. He's right, unified the divisions. He's coming up. Michael Hunter's lurking around. Michael Hunter. Oh my God, Michael Hunter's in mix now. That is shocking fight. That shocking. If he fights Joshua, that's shocking. Oh, Joyce is doing pretty well as well. There's plenty out there in this heavyweight division, but it's really good that we've got two unbeaten four. Joshua won't fight Joe Joyce either. Frightened to death of him. This is 
uh, colliding. And I think this is a, a real... It's a next... Not once did you mention Lewis Ortiz there, Adam. Not once. You were mentioning people ranked below Lewis Ortiz. Not once did you mention him. That's why Matchroom signed him a few years ago. To keep him away from the big dosser. Chapter for AJ. It's the next part of the story. It's the next part of the story! We missed that one. The next part of the story. And, um, you know, I was with Lennox Lewis a lot in America, and there was the bit where he was born in London, but he had the Canadian upbringing and, you know, fought for Canada in the Olympics. And there was a bit that sort of, you know, was he true Brit? And he was a very laid back personality. AJ laid back. Oh, God, they're having a go at Lennox Lewis now, digging Lennox out again. Oh, my God. Listen, Adam, when Lennox Lewis was world champion, he couldn't get you out of his dressing room. Now look, you can stick it knifing on him now, aren't you, Mr. Bean? Uh, not shown he's got the ability that Lennox Lewis had just yet, but obviously... The Lennox Lewis would put Joshua, the big dosser, in his top pocket inside four rounds. It's time to grow. He's the world heavyweight champion and the defining fights are going to come ahead, you know, the wild... You were saying that two years ago, Adam! It was the Furies, but this is a great start. And I just think, I've got that feeling having seen him in America before, around the periphery, that Anthony Joshua is going to become a massive star stateside as well as he is in Britain. Well, we've set the ball rolling, haven't we? Three and a half months to go. Three and a half months we're going to have at this now. Three and a half months. Unbelievable. What we've got here? 14, 15, 46... 77, 78, 78, 12, 11, Jesus. So we've got, uh, uh, hang on, we've got April, May, June, 30, 60, 90. God, we're going to have 10, we've got 35. We've got 15 week of this, 15 week of this, 105 days of this. We're going to have 105 days of, he's from New York, he's tough, he's durable, he's up for it, he's undefeated, he's, he's heavier than Joshua, we're going to have all that. Yeah, he's carrying too much weight for his height. He is clinically a beast, I should know because I were, I were. Clinically obese. I know. I know what BMI readings are. Clinically obese. Do you know what I mean? Clinically obese. Twenty-four stone, but they've got him down as twenty-two stone five on here. He's never been twenty-two stone five. Twenty-four stone. Eddie's just said. Twenty-four stone. Jesus Christ! I can't believe what I'm hearing. It's the first transatlantic trip in the ring, Madison Square Garden, for Joshua Miller. Don't forget, June the first. Look at this here, look at the look at the thousands they're putting into production for this. This is look they put Mac this is unbelievable what they're doing here. English muffin, Crubbington team, I'm coming for your behind. Oh my god, look at this! Oh my god, oh my god. Heavyweight champion of the world. Once you sign a contract, it's bad blood. The minute you put your name on that piece of paper, you're a piece of meat to me. Only meat you're gonna be eating, mate, is Burger King, and that's mince meat. Oh my, let me turn this off. This is gonna give me an ulcer. Do you want to become undisputed heavyweight champion of the world? 